parents who are looking to adopt. We have friends that we met um, as part of the, the uh, uh, anniversary or the lifelong anniversary in Dallas. And uh, we actually got a chance to stay with them on our journey, journey out to Michigan. And uh, they're hoping to start with lifelong, I guess sometime at the end of this year, or next year. And we got a chance to talk with them a lot. And the one thing we shared with them is just like, just trust the process, be patient. Um, you know, if, you know, you hear the phrase, um, where there's a will, there's a way, um, you know, you, yeah, you put a lot into it. And like Ozzy said earlier, there's good days, bad days, there's regular days, there's horrible days, there's days where you're like, I don't know if I can do this. There's days where, um, you feel like, Hey, this is, you know, I'm so glad we did this, you know? So it's, um, and those are, those are more than any other, but, um, just trust the process. If this is something that you're really looking to do, um, you know, prepare yourself um, for a roller coaster journey. Um, it is very emotional. Um, there's a lot that you have to put into it. Um, there's, uh, you really have to be committed. A hundred, not even a hundred percent, a hundred and ten percent. You need to give. Um, you need to be on call all the time. You know, and and making sure that you're communicating with everybody, not just your birth mom, but once you connect, but with everybody. Um, it takes a lot of communication. And also too, you, you like you have to just, you need to be able to like trust each other and feed off of each other and communicate with each other because it's not easy when you're going through, um, you know, a stressful process and you're cooped up in hotels and um, you're at home and anxiety's flowing and you know, even just between you and your spouse, you know, it's. Um, there's a lot of communication that has to be, you know, kept open and you need to be able to share how you're feeling, um, you know, at all times, um, so that you can really stay sane and, and, um, you know, make it through together. Yeah. And for me, basically, um, it's a scary process because you just don't know what to expect. You know, you're not in control, um, of the process, but what you're in control is on the successful of your placement. Um, this is something that you and your spouse have to work on basically while you get connected because not only the situation, not only the process is what's going to help you on the placement, but it's your relation with the birth mother. You have a lot to do with the child placement when it's there. If the birth mother doesn't trust you, if, the, if you do, if you don't feel comfortable with how to communicate, you know, how things work, um, you know, if things can change, you know, so basically be compassionate about this person, you know, put yourself in that situation and, 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 and get to know why this is happening. That is going to help you, you know, to communicate with her and basically um, 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 develop this trust, you know, because she has to trust you at the end of the day, you know, yeah. it's not part of, I mean, the, the process is there, you know, the agency is there, but basically this person is giving her child to you. Yeah, she's you, entrusting that. You know, yeah. she's entrusting you that. You need to make sure that that trust and that love is there before the child is born. Yeah. So another piece of advice that I learned, that we learned post-placement basically was that there's... um. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I lost it. I lost Over. it. Oh, yeah. Beep. <laughs> I was too concentrated on the, another piece of advice, is it? and then if I didn't connect to the other one. Yeah, you just um, one. So another piece of advice that we learned post placement was basically the huge role that the adoptive family has on the placement of this child. Um, I didn't think of it throughout the process, but basically, um, you have a lot to do with it. You know, like when you you're getting to know this person, you know. She needs to make sure that she trusts you, you know, that the kid is going to be fine, you know, that you're going to provide like the best. So it's basically giving her that certainty, you know, like that trust and, and the chance to know you, you know, the chance to know who you really are. So that way um, it can be a successful yeah. Um, placement. Yeah, I think like, you know, to what you're trying to say also is, uh, you know, it's the agency that you know, it's kind of, yeah, they help navigate you and they help connect you and they help really 
um, get you together. Uh, but once you're there, um, it is ultimately your responsibility to manage that relationship, to, um, to feed that relationship and make sure that that relationship continue to grows, uh, continues to grow rather, not continues to grow. <laughs> but um, just making sure that, uh, you know, that that relationship continues to grow and that you um, um, are really uh, putting forth, you know, your effort um, and like Ozzy said, that you're developing that relationship and that birth mom trusts you wholeheartedly. It's not the agency's responsibility for that birth mom to trust you. It is your responsibility to, um, to hone in on that and, and develop that piece. Yeah, and if you like, yeah. when you have any questions, when you have any doubts, when you don't know what to do, like right. definitely you reach out directly to Mark, to Janet, They're to Nicole, always available. You know, and always. they tell you exactly, you know, what you should do, what you should think, you know, like, they give you the right tools for you to execute yeah. the communication. But then it's up to you. How to are it. you going to implement yeah. that process? Like, just don't be afraid to ask questions. You know, like nobody knows about the process. Like mm -hmm. a lot of us, it's the first time that we're adopting, you know, so everything that you think you know, like, you don't. Is, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because everybody has a different go. opinion, you know, <laughs> like even if you ask your families and friends and everybody, you know, like yeah. people think they know, but actually when you act, when you go into the process, it's a yeah. different game, you know, it's, it's And that's it's, part of trusting the process is learning to navigate, you know, what that is. And trusting the process really means trusting your, your agency, you know, um, lifelong, trusting lifelong to give you the tools that you need uh, to be successful, but ultimately that success lies on your shoulders. You have to to manage that relationship to make it a success.